CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Coffee Crochet, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a crochet lantern, and uh, this does have some lights in it, so it turns out really beautiful. This is definitely beginner friendly, and I'm going to go slow and try to explain every little thing for you uh, to make it as easy as possible. Okay, so let's get into our materials. Okay, so for your materials today, you're going to be using a 5.5 millimeter hook, you're going to be using the inside of a cross stitch um, circle. I found these at Walmart for like two bucks and I'm using the smallest one that they have. And this is the inside circle for that. Now, of course, um, you can use anything that you want to make a circle with. This is just the one that I used. Um, it's approximately five inches in width. I also used a Mandala Lion brand variegated yarn for this. Uh, you can find this at Walmart as well. I was really trying to find materials that you could get to easily. I know a lot of people live remotely and the only thing that they have near them is a Walmart. So I try to think about those things. Um, also, I'm using some um, LED lights. They come with a little battery pack and I also found these at Walmart. Now, if you can't find these or they're too expensive for you, you can also use the little LED candles that are a dollar at Dollar Tree if you have a Dollar Tree near you. You also maybe even be able to find a cross stitch thing at a Dollar Tree. I just could not um, near me. I couldn't find it near me. Um, so yeah, you can find those things and you will also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. So I would like to ask you to please like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already, hit that notify me bell below so that you can get notified of my future videos. And please share my videos. That helps more than anything and I really appreciate it. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so just real quick, I just wanna to explain to you how this works. We're gonna start at the very top with our uh, wooden circle. We're gonna go around that and then you just keep going down from that point and then we're going to make a little basket for the inside for our battery pack or if you're using one of those little candles whatever you can set it in there and that um, hooks up here to the top of this and then from that you make a little tassel and that's what hangs below okay and then you just do a simple sling across the top okay okay so we're going to take our our wooden circle here and we're going to go through the inside of it with our hook and we're just going to bring our yarn through just like this we'll do a single crochet there and then you can work over this piece as you go along okay and so now what we're going to do is we're going to do 48 single crochets around this circle here okay so now all you're going to do is you've got your hook up here you've got this down and you're just going to pull up your yarn through and go around it so there's one two three four five six, seven. So you just keep working around your circle till you have 48 single crochets. Okay, so we have 48 single crochets all the way around. Um, you will see a little bit of the wood poking through. That's okay. That's normal. That's what it should look like. And then you're going to slip stitch to your first single crochet. So that can be a little bit hard to get into because of we're working around the circle here. So we're just going to pull through and do a slip stitch. Okay. Okay. So after we join, we're going to chain two. That chain of two does not count as a stitch. But then we're gonna go into the same place where we just slip stitch and we're going to put one double crochet. Then you're gonna go into your next stitch and put one double crochet. And then you're gonna go into the next stitch and put two double crochets. And then you're gonna do that again. Go into your next stitch, put one double crochet go into the next stitch and put one double crochet and then go to the next and put two double crochets and 
and you're going to do this all around and you should have a stitch count of 64 by the end and I'll meet you back when we get close to the end. Okay, so we've done that all the way around now and now we're going to slip stitch to our first um, double crochet, not the chain of two that did not count as a stitch. You're going to go right into there and make a slip stitch, okay? Now eventually when we get some more work done, we can bring this down this way, but for right now we're crocheting up with this in the middle, if that makes sense, but later we can pull this up like this, okay? And so now what we're going to do, again, we're going to chain two, that does not count as a stitch, and then we're going to start working um, some decreases. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two double crochets together all the way around. So we're going to double crochet two together. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to actually be working in the back loop back here. So uh, this can be a little bit confusing. So I'm going to show you real quick exactly where you're going to be working into. So I'm going to pull my loop out. I'm going to grab my darning needle so I can show you. And these can be a little bit difficult to work into, but this is what gives this its ridges as you go down. It gives it um, structure, so this is very important, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to go right in. So we chain two right here. So we're gonna go right into this stitch right here, and we're going to be working in this piece right here, okay? And then this piece right here and right here and right here and right here so you're working behind the original stitch into this place right here so these are the places you're looking for as you work into the back of your work here okay right here so let me show you what that looks like when you're doing it so after you chain that two we're going to yarn over you're going to go looking in the back loop here you're going to find this stitch right here behind. So right here you see these V stitches, that's where you would normally work under, but you're going to actually be looking at the back of the work and it might actually help to turn it on its side. And then you're going to go right into here. Okay. And like I said, these aren't necessarily easy to work into, but you're going to put your hook right into there and then you're going to pull up and you're only going to go through two loops just like that. Then you're going to yarn over and you're going to find the second stitch right here. You're going to pull up, go through two loops. That leaves three loops left on your hook, go through all three. So you've double crocheted two together behind your stitch now. And we're going to do that again. So yarn over, go into this next back stitch, put your hook through, pull up your yarn, only go through two loops yarn over, go through your next back loop here, pull up, only go through two stitches. Then you have three loops left on your hook, go through all three. And again, yarn over, look for this little piece in the back back here, pull up, go through two, that leaves two loops, yarn over, go into your next place, your next stitch, pull up, go through two, that leaves three, go through all three. And as you can see, the way you'll know if you're doing it right is, you'll see that these stitches that we're totally missing because we're going behind them are staying here in the front. And that's exactly what we want to see. We wanna see the entire stitch facing towards the front, okay? And so again, you would yarn over, turn your work over, find this next stitch here behind, pull up, go through two loops, you have two left, yarn over, find your next piece here, work through, pull up, go through two, you have three loops, go through all three. So you're just gonna continue doing that all the round. Keep looking for those spaces. If you get confused, you can turn it over this way and look at the front and then just follow the front to the back to make sure that you haven't missed that stitch there, okay? So like right here, sometimes it looks a little bit confusing, so I know that I need to go here and I need to go here. 
and here and here and here and here. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing that all the way around. When we get close to the end, I'll meet you back up again. By the time you get to the end of this row, you should have 32 stitches. So we did our two double crochets together all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to flip this this way. So it goes down like this and then we'll be working around like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch to close, not into the chain of two, but in the first two double crochet together stitch that you did, and you're going to slip stitch right into there. Now we're going to chain two, that does not count as a stitch, and then in each stitch we're going to put two double crochets. So right here in this one, we're going to put two double crochets, you're gonna go into your next stitch and put two double crochets. You're gonna go into your next stitch and put two double crochets. And you're just gonna keep doing that all the way around. And by the time you get to the end of this round, you should have a count of 64. So that's what you're jumping back and forth from with this. You're increasing and decreasing to cause those ridges in the lantern. So you will have 64 and then you will uh, do two double crochets together all the way around in your next round and then you will have 32. So that's the way this is done. So just keep going all around in this round and do two double crochets in each stitch and I'll meet you back up in just a minute. Okay, so we did our two double crochets in each stitch all the way around, and now we'll have a stitch count of 64, and we're going to slip stitch not into our chain of two, but into our first double crochet. Okay, just like that. And as you can tell, this is gonna flail out like a little bit because you did the two double crochets in each stitch. That's okay, that's normal, that's what it should look like. And again, now we're going to chain two, that does not count as a stitch. And now we're gonna turn our work over and we're going to be looking for those um, stitches. One, there's one, there's one, there's one. And we're going to be doing the two double crochets together again, okay? So we're gonna go right into this stitch right here, pull up, go through two, yarn over, go into this stitch right here, pull up, go through two, then go through all three. And then again, just turn your work over so you can find these stitches right here. And just so you know, if you mess up and go through a stitch in the back that's not at the right space, like let's say I turned it over and I went over here instead of here or something, um, you don't have to undo your work all the way. It's still gonna look good because the stitch is still gonna be behind this. The main thing is, is that you don't wanna get any of these stitches right here that's part of your V. But you still wanna get into the right stitches, so try to find these little ridges in the back here. So again, yarn over, pull up, go through two, go into the next, pull through, go through two, then you have three loops, go through all three. So just keep doing that all the way around. Again, you should have a stitch count of 32 by the end of this round, and I'll meet you back up in just a minute. Okay, so we finished that round there of the two double crochets together, and now we're going to slip stitch not into our chain of two, but our first double crochet. And after we do these four rounds, of color, we're going to change into the white now. And then you're just going to bring in your white just like this. I'm gonna pull it right through the loop that's already there. And then I just like to tie it. This is just how I change colors. You can do it however you want. I tie it like that and then I pull up and then I'll work over these two pieces as I go. So again, I will chain two. I will go into this same stitch right here and I will work two double crochets, one and two. And then I will do two double crochets into my next stitch. One and two. And again, as you can see, I'm just working over those pieces. 
And then I go into my next and I do two double crochets. And you just keep doing that all the way around. And so now I'm just gonna tell you, because this is the same now, this we're repeating the same rounds now, um, the same pattern. So now what I'm going to do with the white is I'm going to do two double crochets in each stitch. Then that will leave me with a count of 64. And then I will come back and I will do two double crochets together, decreasing all the way around. And then I will have a stitch count of 32. After I do those two rounds, I will come back with my color and I will repeat that again two more times, okay? So let me just show you what this looks like. So each of these colors is two rounds. So we started off with these two and then we have these two and then I change to the white and then we have these two rounds. So each one of these is an increase and a decrease round. And then I went back to two colors and then I went back to the white and then we finally have this, this here. So what I want you to do is just keep going until you get to the end of the white and then I'm gonna show you how to finish this up. Mine will not be as long as this one for the sake of the video, take forever, but you basically get the gist, but I do wanna show you how to finish this up. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the piece in the middle and the tassel to hold your light in place, okay? So you just keep going and then I'll meet you back in just a minute. Okay, so I finished my white row and I'm just gonna stop there and show you how to do the end. Yours of course should be this long. Um, but I did want to show you as well is how this can get a little bumpy and ridgy as you're going along um, as you're doing these decreases and that's okay it's normal for it to look that way once you straighten it out it will um, be fine but these are what the ridges look like as you go down um, and I did want to show you that just don't give up keep going because it will work itself all out perfectly okay so now we're going to go ahead and go to the last row, row remember you should have already gone all the way down to this white right here and then I'm going to show you what to do here again I'm just going to bring in this blue yarn right into my already my working loop there I'm going to tie this in the back and then I'll just work over that as I go. And so for our last round here, we're going to chain two. That does not count as a stitch. And then we're going to do two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. So again, we're at 32 now because we did a, a decrease row. So now we're going to increase. So we're gonna do two double crochets in each stitch, and we should end up with 64 at the end of this round. So just keep doing that all the way around and I'll meet you back up in just a second. Okay, so we finished doing two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. And now we're gonna slip stitch not to our chain of two, but into our first double crochet here, okay? And so now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in the back post all the way around. So in each double crochet, we're going to single crochet going from behind the work as a back post, single crochet. So I want you to chain one first, that does not count as a stitch. We're not gonna be working around this chain two, we're gonna be working around this first double crochet. So right here you see the chain of two, and then right here you see the double crochet. We're gonna be working around this. So to do the back post single crochet, you wanna take your hook, go from the back, around the front, through the back again, pull your, and do a single crochet. And then you're gonna go to the next one, working from the back, going around to the front, pull through, and do a single crochet. And again, working from the back, going around from the front, pull through, do a single crochet. And again, working from the back, around the front, pull your yarn through, and do a single crochet. 
So you're gonna keep doing that all the way around. When we get close to the end, I'll meet you back up in just a second. Okay, so we just finished our last back post single crochet. And now we're going to slip stitch, not to the chain one that we did, but to the first back post single crochet that we did. Now, as you can see, this causes a ridge to go in the back of your work. That's what we want. This is gonna cause this to go inwards for the bottom of the lantern, okay? So it does look a little funny. Just remember, now we're going to be working into these back post single crochets that we made, okay? So let's slip stitch right into that first one that we did. And now what we're going to do is we're going to chain two and we're going to be working behind these single crochets to do two double crochets together. And this is going to be our last round, okay? So I'm um, not gonna lie, these are kind of hard to find, especially with single crochets. But again, you're still looking for these back loops right here. So again, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. You just don't wanna be working into these stitches right here. So when you look at it like this, we've got our row that we did with our two double crochets here. Then we've got this single crochet back post right here and you're going to be working behind that. So just pull your work down like this and then work into these. So you're going to, like you were going to double crochet into this stitch right here, pull up, go through two, yarn over, find your next stitch right here. It's right below that. Pull up go through two, you have three loops, go through all three. So just like we've done previously before, you're just gonna do that same thing. It's just a little bit tricky because now it's behind these single crochets, but it is the exact same thing, okay? So again, Just looking for these stitches here. And again, as long as you find something to work into, believe me, it won't mess it up as long as it's behind these stitches here, okay? So just keep doing that all the way down, finding these stitches and doing two double crochets together. And when we get to the end, I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so we worked our double crochets two together all the way around. And as you can see, because we did that single crochet in the back post, it makes everything fold in, which is exactly what you want it to do here at the end. And then all you're going to do is slip stitch into your first um, double crochet two together here, not the chain of two, okay? And then you will cut off, leave enough to work in. And then that would be the bottom of your lantern. Okay, obviously mine is tiny, but yours should be this big and it'll look just like that. And that's the way you want the end to look. And it's very sturdy. The ridges help keep it together and look like a lantern, okay? So now what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to make this little pocket. So the point of this pocket is to hold either uh, your, the little candle LED that you get or if you get a little battery pack like the one I have, and then it just fits right into the middle of this and fits right down into the bottom and hangs. And then you can just place your lights on the inside and they make everything light up, okay? So that's what I'm gonna show you now is how to make that. You can use any color that you want. I'm just gonna pull out my blue yarn and all we're gonna do is we're going to make a magic circle and we're going to put six single crochets into that magic circle. So we've got our magic circle. And now we're going to put six single crochets in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you're gonna pull tight and you're going to slip stitch to close to your first single crochet. So we will not be working in the round uh, per se for this one. So we're going to just go to that first one and make a slip stitch. Now you're going to chain one and you're going to do two single crochets in each stitch all the way around starting in the place that you just slip stitched into. So one, two, and then two single crochets in your next. That's three and four. 
two single crochets in the next, five and six, two single crochets in the next, seven and eight, two single crochets in the next, nine and 10, and two single crochets in the next, 11 and 12, okay? And then you will slip stitch to close to your first single crochet, not your chain of one, okay? Then you will chain one, and then you will do one single crochet in this first stitch, and then two single crochets in the next. Then one single crochet in the next stitch, and two single crochets in the next. One single crochet in the next stitch, and two single crochets in the next. So by the end of this row, you should have a stitch count of 18. So just keep doing that all the way around. Two single crochets and one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, and then you should end on two single crochets. And then you will join into your first single crochet, not your chain of one, and then you will chain one, and then right into the same place you just did a slip stitch, you will put one single crochet, then go into your next stitch, put one single crochet, go into the next, put two single crochets, go into the next, put one single crochet, go into the next, put one single crochet, then go into the next and put two single crochets. And that's what you're going to do all around for here, and you should have a stitch count of 24 by the end of this round. So one, one, and two, and then one, one, and two, and then one, one, and then you should end on two single crochets. And then again, you will slip stitch to close to your first single crochet, not your chain of one, and now we're just gonna do rows of single crochet to get the height we need to hold the battery. So what I did was, is I chained one, and then I just do one single crochet all the way around, just like this, one single crochet in each stitch. And then you will join at the end to the first single crochet, not the chain of one, and you're going to do 10 rows of single crochet. So that's all you're gonna do is keep going around and round for 10 rows of single crochets, okay? And I'll meet you back in just a minute. Okay, so we just finished our 10 rounds of single crochet, and now we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet, not our chain one, and then we're going to make the um, ropes that are gonna hold this into place inside of our lantern. So we're going to chain 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And then you're going to slip stitch in each stitch going all the way back down. So in the second chain from the hook, not this one where our loop is coming out, but the second one, we're going to put a slip stitch. So there's one, and into the next, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Hey guys, be quiet. And then 14 for your last slip stitch. And then you're gonna go down into the same place where you slip stitched here and do another slip stitch just to hold it into place. And then you're going to skip eight stitches. So you're gonna skip one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna slip stitch into each one, of, each one of those. So go into the next and do one slip stitch, into the next two, and the next three, four, 
five, six, seven, and eight. And then you're going to chain 15 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And then again, you're going to slip stitch going all the way back down, second chain from the hook. You're going to make a slip stitch and just slip stitch all the way down to the bottom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Then right back into the same place that you brought that in at. And then you're going to slip stitch over eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you're going to chain 15 again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're gonna slip stitch all the way down, and then you're gonna slip stitch over eight till we get to this first one here. So I'll come back in just a minute when we get close to the end of this. Okay, so we finished all three of our little posts here. We're gonna cut off, leaving enough to work that in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna turn it inside out. Just like this. And then we're gonna sew this where it's this way. So it's pointing out like this towards us so that when we turn it out inside out, it can fall back into place, okay? So you're just gonna put these one on each side here. Doesn't really matter where, you just want them spread out to where they're even. So I'm gonna start mine right up here at the very top. And instead of going through this piece right here that's against the wood, we're actually gonna lay this flat up against there and pull through this. But we're going to try to work through our back loop so you can't see this color coming from the other side. Another thing you can do is just use the same color that you started with at the top if you're worried about your color showing through. But all I'm going to do is just pull this into place just like this. And then I'm going to simply knot it. Now, I'm knotting this because it is a lantern. Um, it's just going to hang, so I'm gonna leave it with a knot. But if you're worried about knotting it, then you can work in your ends if you choose. I'm gonna knot this three times. And then I'm gonna cut off, not very close to the knot so it doesn't come undone, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing for each one of these sides here. So then I'm going to take this one and I'm gonna go over here. And do the same thing again. And then you can turn this inside out now. And that's gonna fall right down into the middle of your work, just like that, okay? Now we're gonna put a little tassel on the bottom here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take whatever color you want. I thought it looked cool to use a different color. Um, so I'm just gonna take the green and I'm going to go back and forth. I'm gonna make it very long, probably about 12 inches. And I'm gonna go back and forth about seven times. Just like this, just doubling the yarn. And then you're just gonna fold it in half, just like this, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another color and I'm gonna go around this part right here. 
and I'm just going to tie it right here. Just like that. And then I'm going to wrap around this middle part here several times. Just like this. And then I'm going to cut it. And I've got these two pieces here that I'm going to work back into this piece that I've wrapped around. So I'm gonna put both of those onto my darning needle. And then you're just gonna come up through the work like this. Cut that off. And then I'm going to take this piece and pull it up through the middle. Just like that. And then I'm going to cut the bottom and the length that I would like here. I like this pretty long, so I'm just gonna cut it and keep it, I'm just gonna take about an inch or two off the bottom, just to where it's even. And then you're going to cut these to where they're even, and you can get them onto a darning needle. I'm going to come up the middle of this, just like this, into this little pouch that you made. And you're going to pull those up through there, through the middle. It stays in place inside the little pouch that you made here. And then you can cut off just like that. And then your little tassel will hang down from the pouch in the middle, but of course yours will be much longer and then it will cover all the way down. And so then your little tassel will hang down. It will fit right into the middle of this, just like this. Just like that. And then it'll hang down and the tassel will fall down and then you can put your lights into the middle of that, okay? So let me show you the last thing that we need to do here, and that's to make a sling for the top, and this is super easy. Um, again, you can use any color that you want to for this, um, but go ahead and take a color and a long piece of uh, your yarn there and put it onto your darning needle, um, and you're going to go right into the middle of uh, this right here. So you're gonna go through the middle of this and the line there. So these two rounds right here and you're going to pull up and then you're gonna try to go right to the other side of your work. Okay, but you wanna leave some where it can hang. So just try to determine how long you want that to be. And then right on the other side, you're gonna go through the same place, just like this. And then you would pull through so you get it exactly how long you want it to hang like this. And then you would work in your ends. So then you would work this in three times. One. And when you first do that first one, don't you pull too tight or it'll take all your slack away from the sling that you have here. So two. And you may need to even do it more than that because it is the sling here. So I worked it in about five times. And then you can cut off. And then you're gonna go to the other side and do the exact same thing, okay? You're gonna work this end in as many times as you did the other side. And then you will be all done with your lantern. It will be absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, and I hope that it was easy for you. If you have any questions or need any help or anything, don't hesitate to ask. You can find me in the um, YouTube comments section below, of course, and I try to get to everyone that I can. Sometimes it, YouTube doesn't always show your comments though. So if you, uh, want to get to me in any other way you can find me on tiktok instagram facebook 
and I have a Gmail as well. And come follow me on all those places because I have good content there. So I'll see you soon. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.